to Aiden G. Tracy. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and join our merry band. Hi, my name's Paul and I'm interested in coffee machines, gizmos and travelling around the world. Uh, so today we're looking at the new Loire Americano, uh, a classic one. This new pack has 14 discs in it, or 14 drinks. And we're going to try it in the uh, My Way 2 from Tasimo, and also the new Bosch Tasimo Finesse which has a sort of a boost button. Hold this button for three seconds and you get a more intense coffee. You can do the same sort of thing over here on the My Way 2 by tapping the three beans. Now Loire have launched their own machine and for a single shot it uses the original Nespresso pod system and if you wanted to pour two coffees at the same time and I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that. It does look a bit more like uh, your Starbucks pour, the way the uh, uh, liquid goes into two shot cups but then it has a sort of a double size uh, Nespresso pod but you're looking at around £100, $100 for the base machine that doesn't give you a milk frother and then some fairly expensive pods so anyway we're going to have a look, have a go with the Tesamo machine with the new T-Dis of the same coffee uh, these machines start at around $40 39 pounds so this is a much cheaper way and obviously this gives you the flexibility to do many many brands from Costa in the UK to Kenko in the States whereas the Loire machine you are pretty much limiting yourself to Loire okay let's have a go at using both these machines so make sure you have uh, emptied and refilled um, your the tank that's the first thing to do so we'll fire these two up and see what the taste is like. Sorry about my voice again today. I have copped yet another flu bug that I'm on the tail end of. Seems to be something we're all battling with a lot more following the uh, post-COVID era. It uses barcodes to program the machine to cup size, temperature, etc. So we're going to put that in both machines. When you put in Tasimo down, you need a good firm pressure, but if it really won't go down, don't force it. It means you've probably not lined that up, or that has got into the, the wrong place. It should be simple, like that. So we're going to touch the three bean to give us the most intense um, coffee through the while. And we're going to do the same here on the new finesse machine and here we have to hold this button here for three seconds to get the same sort of intense flavour and there we go so these machines when you hear this they're pumping a little bit of water through and also they're building up the bar pressure they use around six bar um, machines like the Virtuo don't use bar pressure, obviously they spin and your average barista in Starbucks is probably using up to 15 bar to force the hot water through the ground coffee. This is my second My Way, this is a My Way 2 and the only really change I can see to is that it comes with a Brita water filter. I didn't like that, I'm more likely to forget about the Brita water filter and make the water worse. So I've taken the Brita filter out, you just have to ease it out and move the black lid over gradually. See both of these are poured nicely, they are going to give you that nice creamer layer on the top. Poured into the middle of the cup is better. Actually the cheaper finesse is seeming to make a better job of that at the moment. Certainly got a lot more here. So if you want to extend this a bit more, just hold this to put a bit more hot water through. Remember, if you do this too much, you're gonna weaken the coffee. And if you're going to overflow, just touch that button once and that will automatically stop it if you've got the wrong cup. And although I've got a cold, I can still smell that lovely coffee. It 
reminds me of a coffee shop or first thing in the morning here. A great smell. Right, we'll have a closer look, I think, at those two cups. They've both made a respectable job of that, haven't they, when you consider you're only spending around £40 on the machine and 3 or $4 on the pack of pods. The smell is fantastic. Let's have a bit on the My Way one. Hmm. Well, that's interesting because the cheaper model, actually, the coffee seems to have a more distinct smell, a crisper smell to it. I'll have to put a little bit of a drop of milk into both of these for my palate. Of course, you could use a milk frother here to give yourself a latte or a cappuccino. Let's try the my way first. Yeah, that's a, a, a good taste, actually. Mm. Well, actually, I much prefer that one. I don't know what those two machines are doing differently. They seem to pour at about the same rate. This one had a nicer foam on it and certainly has a nicer taste. So this is the latest machine. The links are below if you want to do these. It's really in that you can pre-program a drink. You can alter the strength. You can alter the temperature, which is quite good if you're going to be doing an ice drink or a frappuccino, and you can control the cup size. Actually, I really like Tasimo. You've got such a range of brands, and it's quick and easy to do, and they are fairly cheap, aren't they? So I hope you found that useful. I'll put the links below if you're having trouble getting the new Loire, uh, classic Americano. That is great for me. I'm going to sit and drink those now, maybe catch up with the news. This is Paul from London, wishing you all the best today and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio!